Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 picks up just a couple of months after the events of the first movie, so uh, it's very much a continuation of that story, and we find Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, um, in that role he uh, adopts at the end of the movie, which is the guy who's going to take care of this band of misfits and be the quote-unquote leader of this uh, group of heroes. And so that's what we find him doing. Still having to deal with the the with Rocket and the way he is and Drax and all of the characters the way that they are, he's taken a bit more of a leadership role and is just an inkling more responsible at the beginning of this movie than he was uh, at the beginning of the last movie. Gamora is realizing that Nebula's strength and power and uh, is they're much more greater. They're just greater than hers. Um, so she wants to be able to inspire Nebula to not put to not put bad feelings into what's already hers, which is her power, because then that that's a Molotov cocktail. It's a really dangerous <laughs> weapon there. And I think that Gamora is the one that kind of senses it. And it's your job as an older sibling to do that. Yeah, I think I think making peace with my with my sister is is a part of the redemption. She's the only family member I'll ever know. There's no one no one other like me. Um, Thanos made sure that he wiped that. So if Nebula is all I have, then then she's worth she's worth the sacrifice, you know, and and the work. One of the reasons why uh, I really enjoy this uh, type of film that James is making is it's spectacular and of another world, yet it seems so kitchen sink drama. It, it seems like such a movie that you can relate to. All Everything seems so human. So you have this tree and this uh, uh, mechanized raccoon who feel very much like people you may have grown up with or you know. And uh, James just has his finger on the pulse of humanity uh, in, that, in that way. They were not looking at you funny. You got anger issues. Mature yourself!